Hi! Um, I just wanted to hop on to a video and have a quick chat. My intention really is to do a couple of these a week. Um, some about pregnancy, some for new mums that have already had their babies. So one video a week for each um, on various different topics. I've got some different ideas coming up. Um, but if anyone's got anything that they're interested in, then I'm happy to do um, something more personalised. So just give me a shout or send me a message um, if you've got any specific topic that you want me to talk talk about or do some research on or share some podcasts about um yeah so I'm sitting in my car because I have just started back at work this week so first week back after the end of my maternity leave um I'm enjoying it so far back in social work um it's yeah it's going okay actually so far um still interesting and exciting I'm sure the novelty will wear off after a couple of weeks but we'll see I'll keep you updated how it goes um, yeah so I wanted to just have a quick chat about identity this is the kind of the reason that got me into wanting to set this group up wanting to work with pregnant and new mums um, and support people with that transition from being pregnant into being a mum um, and I think my reason for that was because nobody during my pregnancy nobody really talked to me about how my identity would change um, my midwives weren't really talking about it friends who'd had babies weren't really talking about it nobody had told me kind of how massive the change is between not having children being pregnant and then becoming a mum uh, so one of the main ways that my identity I really kind of struggled was with career um, letting go of my work, letting go of my job, also the change in my relationship, kind of feeling like I'd lost a part of that relationship in order to make way for the new um, way for, for my daughter. Um, so there's kind of like an element of mourning and grief and loss about um, that side of things in my relationship. Also kind of a loss of my own identity with my friends like I was pretty wild partying and going out I quite like having a drink having a glass of wine at the end of the week a few glasses of wine um, so I kind of really miss that and the, the some of the group of friends who I was friends with were still kind of going out and doing that while I was pregnant and after the baby had arrived so I just felt a bit massive FOMO really um, and yeah, I was a bit gutted about that for a while. It took a while for me to get my head around that. So those are kind of the elements of my identity that changed. There's also kind of financial as well about being independent, earning enough money to look after myself, to then having to rely on my partner to help me financially. That was quite a big thing to, to kind of get my head around. Um, I wanted to kind of hook this onto a really good podcast that I listened to recently um, that kind of put this into, described it in a better way than I'm able to describe basically, or I might be able to describe it, but I probably have to do loads of work and sit down and plan um, how to kind of put the message across in a way that this um, amazing lady has done this podcast. So her podcast is about matrescence um it's something sorry i just been sitting in the car and i realized i didn't have a handbrake on so i was just rolling down the hill um yeah she talks about matrescence so it's something that i have been quite interested in i feel a bit uncomfortable with the term i think it's a little bit of a weird term but the idea and concept i really kind of it really resonates with me and it's basically likening the transition to being a mum um, to the transition that we go through during adolescence so the hormonal behavioral and personal changes that happen during adolescence are very similar to what happens when you're tran transitioning from not having any children into being a mum so that's kind of a really interesting concept in itself I think um, and what she talks about is the fact that this is a universal experience that all mums go through um, and talking about kind of the grey area between people who are kind of struggling with this transition, um, which I, I think everybody does, and then kind of going down the continuum of people that will then experience postnatal depression. And Alexandra Sachs, she is the lady that has kind of been doing a lot of work on matrescence that she's actually interviewed in this podcast. Um, and her... She, she's 
met with lots of women who believe that they have postnatal depression, um, who were really struggling. But then when she talked to them about matrescence and about this kind of universal experience of just kind of feeling a bit all over the place and finding it quite difficult to manage that the changes and the transition that they're going through, um, some of the women that thought they had postnatal depression kind of realised actually. Um, all it is is madrescence. I'm just going through this process of transition and change. It's something that I'm completely not used to, feel completely out of my depth, which is normal because none of us have been a mum before. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of helpful to describe the way that a lot of mothers feel during those first few months after giving birth. Um, not to take away from the fact that some people also are definitely going to be experiencing postnatal depression, postnatal anxiety, that is definitely a reality for lots of people. Um, but I think also there's a bit of a middle ground of people that are struggling, um, feel as though they're not getting the support they need and this matrescence concept maybe could try to help um, some people to kind of make sense of what they're experiencing, so I think that's interesting. Um, what they also talk about, which I think is quite like resonated with me and is very important as well, is about um, self-care and the importance of self-care and how that kind of links into identity as well. And this is important not just for the people that have already had their children, but for the pregnant mums who um, want to try to plan for things to be as um, the, for the transition to be as kind of smooth as possible um, and I think when it comes to identity what they talk about in this podcast is thinking about what are the things that are really important to you as a person before you've had children what do you enjoy doing um, who do you enjoy spending time with what are the small things that you like to do for yourself be it kind of reading a book going for a bike ride going for a run sitting on your ass and doing nothing if that's what you like doing um, watching Netflix and kind of making a, making a plan to make sure that you carry on doing some of those things once the baby arrives because once the baby's here you're going to be completely overwhelmed by caring for a child and I think quite often this is where the identity issue comes in is that the needs of a baby then overtake your own needs and you completely lose your own identity um, completely lose yourself as a person and become somebody's mum um, who doesn't have their own needs met which then is kind of a recipe for disaster when it comes to emotional well-being and, and mental health really so um, what this podcast is talking about as well is just the importance of kind of self-care and remembering who you are and trying to make sure that you build some of those day-to-day -day kind of self-care kind of type things into your life and your routine so that you don't lose yourself um, and what also kind of struck me was the importance of doing that in then also being a good role model to your children because I think if we lose ourselves in motherhood and are completely dependent on looking after our kids and making sure that our kids needs are met and making sure that our kids are all right and then our needs are not being met it, one it makes you feel like crap um but two what does that also say to them that your needs are not important um and i don't know i just think it it, it doesn't really say a lot about how you view yourself and your self-worth and then whether or not that might impact on the way that your children view themselves if you're not willing to invest and take time to care for yourself then are they going to do that because their main important role model potentially isn't doing that because they're just focusing all of their attention on their children which is amazing but I think there needs to be a balance so <laughs> sorry um I think I might end up kind of rambling and ranting on some of these videos so um apologies for that um but you can always just press pause or stop or skip if you like um but yeah I'll put a link to this podcast at the bottom of this video um and I will be back soon all right take care bye everyone